Now that Rich's Claude Delage is back in writable condition and my Hercules Speed King will hopefully be done soon, we started thinking about finding some authentic or at least authentic looking footwear for the rides we'd be taking on these bikes. Here Rich is wearing some modern Giros which are styled to look like older shoes but they're not quite authentic enough to make me happy. I have this pair of Dettos circa 1980s that I wear with my 1970s and 80s bikes, but they won't really work with these older bikes. So what were cyclists wearing on their feet back in the early 1900s? It looks like they were wearing something like this, which looks almost like a ballet slipper with a small strap over the top. Here's another example which shows the same type of shoe. I even found a period French poster advertising these strapped, slipper-esque type of cycling shoes. I was getting the feeling that these slipper type shoes were more of a European thing, so to see what they may have been wearing in America at the time, I went to my old, trusty, well-worn reproduction of the 1902 Sears and Roebuck catalog. And right there on page 1040, I found them. Bicycle shoes. And these didn't resemble the other ballet slipper-like shoes, but rather a more utilitarian shoe that might better hold up to wear with the only apparent consolation to flexibility and weight being that they were made with a kangaroo calf leather. A little more searching on the web turned up another similar American-made shoe, the Ball Bearing. Next stop, eBay, where I turned up these for the ridiculously low price of 12 US dollars. Okay, so they're not exactly like the Sears bicycle shoes, but on the very next page of the 1902 Sears catalog, they have a few examples of what looks like the very same shoe, with the added bonus being that the eBay shoes were actually Sears and Roebuck shoes, and if the soles of the shoes can be trusted, they're also kangaroo calf leather, just like the Sears bicycle shoes. Next step, get these things cleaned up, as it looks like they've been sitting in a basement for decades. First, a good wipe down with a damp cloth helped to remove the caked on dust deposited over many years of neglect. Then a little black shoe cream helped to restore some color and soon the old shoes looked quite presentable. Nothing left to do but try them on. At least Rich got a good laugh out of that. The eBay seller said that even though there was no size listed inside the shoes, she measured them and they measured 10 inches long. And I'm a size 10, so I thought I'd get lucky here. Guess not. Those shoes fit like they were a size 7. No big deal, they'll look nice hanging over the top tube of that old unidentified 1920s bike I picked up a few months ago. Still, I'm going to have to find something else that looks the part and fits. The search continues. <laughs>